Welcome to Cooking with Miss O. I have some friends that are here to cook a new recipe with me and um, because I wanted to meet these men's wives because these are the two happiest men I think I've run into in a long time. So I feared these wives were as good as I was to Tom, so I needed to meet them. And it's Ralph Hayes, Toyota, and Anderson. And if you're a widow or if you're a single um, mom or somebody that is struggling with things, go there. Um, they are wonderful. They're honest. They don't open except one Sunday a month because they're Christians. And I have not met any nicer people than them. And, um, and now I see why these guys are so happy. They have got the sweetest wives, and these wives are going to help me cook. Guys, would you all introduce your wives? Sure. This is my beautiful wife, Diane. She's a great cook. This is my wife, Belle. And um, I'm so glad they got to come. They're a lot of fun, and they're precious and wonderful. So we are going to make Parmesan chicken bake. So ladies, stand to the forefront, and let's cook for these men, okay? <laughs> okay. All right, now would you do the yogurt? Uh -huh. And we're going to be doing a half a cup of yogurt. You could do mayonnaise with this, or you could cut it half yogurt and half mayonnaise, but I don't use mayonnaise, and I like yogurt better because that gives your children and your husband probiotics on everything that you're eating, and we're going to coat that with that. This recipe will be up on our website when the show airs. And let's put that in here. Now, let's um, start. We've got the Parmesan cheese and we will add that in just a minute. Um, let's go ahead, ladies, and let's do the spices. We have the salt. You can just go ahead and put that in there and I'll put up this. Thank you. And you want to come over and do some too? Here, go ahead and dump that one in there and give me a half a teaspoon of all of those, please. <laughs> Thank you. Just dump it in there or in this little bowl? Just put it in the bowl. This one? Uh, this one, yeah, we'll go ahead and do that. And then I need on all three of those. Now I don't know if y'all go to Ingalls or not, but Ingalls um, was the first grocery store after um, that we could actually use, that was the first grocery store in probably about 10 years that we could go to and buy food for my family because of my children having cystic fibrosis and, um, and getting well, and so, which was amazing. So Ingalls is my, my favorite grocery store. Now, let me tell you about the Springer Mountain Chicken. Springer Mountain Chicken, um, I prayed for a long time because with my daughter having cystic fibrosis, um, she couldn't eat any chicken, none at all in the grocery store. So I would have to get a whole chicken from farms that were doing organics and stuff. But I wanted to be like other moms and just go in the store and buy some chicken. And when you have a whole chicken like that, you have to cut it up. And my mother-in-law tried to help me do that, and I could not do that. So I was praying that God would let me be able to go into a store, buy chicken breasts that are already done like this. Well, one day, when Marie was about 11 or 12, we walked into Ingalls, and there was the Springer Mountain. And so I checked it all out and everything like that and found out it was just right in Georgia and that a lot of the farms were right here in Seneca. People knew people that were doing this chicken and everything, and the more I learned about it. And even though Gus Arendelle is not a Clemson guy, <laughs> He's a Georgia guy. Um, I have to say that he must have gotten a really good education because he's the one that thought of this. Now, when you cook this chicken, ladies, and I'm going to give you all plenty of coupons, um, it is clear. The broth is totally clear, and it doesn't have any chemicals in it. They even test the ground before they put any of their chickens on a farm. And if it has chemicals in that ground, they don't, they don't do it. Is that not amazing? Mm -hmm. But the other thing awesome. that's remarkable about this company is um, what I'm impressed with, both his dad and his uncle and Mr. Hatfield were all soldiers in the Second World War. And mm -hmm. Bill, we want to thank you. You were, where all were you in the military? You were in Kuwait? Yeah, in Kuwait, uh, representing South Carolina Army National Guard. And where else? Yeah. What was the other country you said? Uh, just different countries. Yeah. Uh, during we thank you. The last 11 years, so yeah. yeah. Well, we really thank you. You Thanks. you graduated from Clemson. I did. An ROTC, is that yep. right? Yeah. Clemson ROTC program. Yes, and that's wonderful. And, and to be honest with y'all, um, Clemson has a great ag department, but I think now, um, 
Georgia has either beat us or because we have gone a little bit down and they've gone up. But it is a great school and it's a great, don't tell Gus I'm telling him that <laughs> Georgia's a great school. But it, actually their egg department is fabulous. And, um, and he makes the healthiest chicken and won the award for that, ladies. So when you eat this, um, I got strep throat last week. First time I've ever had strep throat. And so my daughter took my cookbook and made the broth, and I'm gonna give all of y'all one of my cookbooks here, okay? Right. And made the broth where you just um, do the celery and all in it, and I drank that broth for a whole day, and it was amazing, y'all. My temperature went away, I felt healthy, and it doesn't stink. You know how you, some chicken you get it and it smells up your whole kitchen and you yeah. don't really want to eat the food when the kids come in, they say, I'm not eating that, you know? <laughs> has that happened to y'all too with chicken? Oh, yes. yes, yes. This chicken has no smell. It's wonderful, and you feel good afterwards, and it really is healthy because God made chickens to, they have such a property to make us healthy when we're sick and stuff and to keep us healthy, and we haven't had chicken like that since probably back in the 40s, you know, and then here comes this Georgia guy <laughs> and makes this wonderful chicken for us so we can all be healthy again. So don't ever use other chicken except Springer Mountain Chicken, and I'm not saying that because he's on my, uh, I, for a whole year he wasn't a sponsor, he didn't even know who I was. Um, this is the healthiest chicken you can get, and if you have cancer, if you have bronchitis, if you have pneumonia, if you drink this, a lot of times people go to different restaurants that have, you know, fast foods that have chicken broth and stuff. This one really makes a difference, and you can freeze it. If you do my cookbook, you can freeze up the broth, put it in the freezer, and when somebody's sick, just take it down, warm it up, and have them drink it, have kids drink it through a straw. Just don't make it too hot so they can get it through the straw. Mm -hmm. And um, so anyway, it's wonderful. So ladies, this is going to be your first taste mm -hmm. of spray. No, wait a minute. Y'all cooked I, I it. I did actually. Yeah. Yeah. I got you did too, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, yeah. tell me what y'all think. It was, it was good. It, there was no grizzle, no fat, and it tasted very good. Yes. Oh, yeah, we. I got mine at Ingles, and I think, I think. Uh, Did you I get yours at Ingles? Publix. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's okay. <laughs> um, as long as they're selling chicken from Springer Mountain, it's okay. Yes. Um, how did you like it? We grilled it and it was wonderful. It was, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And it's so tender, no matter what it you do tender, with it. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And the thing that you said about the no gristle, isn't that wonderful? It, it was. It, was it nice really time. is. Yeah. So, do you think it's the best chicken you've ever eaten? I think it was, yes. Yeah. Yeah. We had two so. teenagers and they it disappeared quick. <laughs> Did it really? Yeah. That's great. There's no leftovers mm -hmm. with Spring no. Mountain. I know that. I've already found that out. There was always leftovers with the others. Mm -hmm. You know, and that's why I went to farms. And at, uh, the last farm I was using was in North Carolina. So that's hard. Yeah. And then they slaughter and you only have, you know, if you run out in the middle of the year, there's yeah. no chicken for a couple of months if you yeah. didn't plan right, you know. So now I can just go to the store like a normal mom <laughs> and buy my chicken. Um, okay, let's get back to the recipe. Did we put all of the spices in, y'all? We mm -hmm. did. Okay, now we have to put the Parmesan cheese in. Okay. Is that in the bowl also? Yes. And leave a little bit for us to sprinkle on the top, okay? okay. All right. Is that good? Yes, that's wonderful. Now what we're going to do is take this spoon from our yogurt. And I did plain yogurt by Stonyfield. Anybody that has been watching the show knows I use Stonyfield. It's at Ingles, but it's at other places too. And this is what we're going to do. We've got our baking dish. Now a lot of people have said to me that they don't have the, um, pan they can't get the uh, longer burger. You still can get longer burger even though the company has changed and all. And the, di and the cooking stuff is still really well. But if you can't, um, Pyrex. I do the USA Pyrex, and it works just as well. And I have just learned from a cooking class I did two weekends ago, a lady could not get the bread pans. So she went and bought a Pyrex um, loaf pan and glass, and she did the bread in it, and the bread did beautifully. She, she um, emailed and told me. So uh, you can do that with your bread, too. Now, all we're going to do here, y'all, is we're going to, oh, I think this is easier. And you wash your hands real good after you do this, but the best thing to do, let me take my ring off. Will somebody hold my Clemson ring? <laughs> no, I'm just teasing. Here we go. Actually, Sweeney is, um, he and his wife are wonderful people. My daughter babysat for them, and they were so wonderful to us when my husband died, and I hope he does win the national championship 
we're going to do that with this, okay? And then they say sometimes to, you have to put oil on the pan, but with the Pyrex or the uh, Pamper, uh, not Pampered Chef, but the Longer Burger, you don't have to. It's hard to get this to stick on it like this, but it does taste wonderful, y'all. Okay, we, um, now we're going to put this in the oven and let it bake, and then we're going to bring it back out and let you see it. The thing I'm going to do today is a, a fruit salad with spinach to go along with this, and I'm going to show you um, two, two different ways How long to do, do you it. Bake this and what you, bake it at? you bake it at, and I need to look here. Why don't y'all come over here and look? One of y'all. That'd be great. <laughs> Because I, I don't have my glasses on. It's right there. This one, um, 375. Mm-hmm. And this? For 45 minutes. 45 minutes. So we'll eat pretty soon, y'all. Guys, can you wait? I think so. Okay. Hey. Thanks so much. We're going to a break. Thank you. Bye-bye. Welcome back. We're getting ready to do our summer salad that you can go into fall with, but we still have strawberries around here. And so, and I got those at Ingalls and they're wonderful. We're also doing spinach. Let me talk to you a little bit about spinach. Spinach, what Papa said when we were growing up, it's true. Spinach can keep you from getting cancer. It can help heal cancer. And it has so many properties in it that is one of the healthiest greens more than um, collards, and we all love collards. Spinach is the one that is the highest of everything. And that and antioxidants, and if I tell you all those chemical names and stuff like that, it wouldn't mean anything, so I'm just going to tell you it's extremely healthy. This summer when I was at the beach, um, I made sandwiches, and um, I took Springer Mountain chicken and baked it, sliced it real thin so I didn't have to do deli meat, and then instead of using lettuce, I did spinach. Because sometimes lettuce... Um, you can't get good lettuce places, you know, but you can always get good spinach. So always get organic spinach too, okay? And of course, I buy my spinach at Ingalls. And um, this is a new organic company that is closer, the spinach is closer to home instead of where it was coming from over in California. And, and, it, and I had noticed that it was coming and it was yellow and stuff like that. So now it's, it has more nutrition the closer to us that we can get it. And so they have changed now to that company, which is wonderful. So you can do spinach with everything. Now, this one, on um, one show with Mr. Arendelle, I, um, I did apples with this. But it's a real easy sweet dressing. Most of the time I do the Italian dressing all the time that I make from home. But this is another one I use. And you can put this with strawberries. You can do oranges and any kind. Now, I don't do mandarin oranges because most of the time mandarin oranges come from China and out of the country. And we talked about the chemicals and everything like that, so I wouldn't be... I wouldn't do those. And look at your cans, like of mandarin oranges and mushrooms. Most of them are out of the country, and you don't really want to do that. Now, I have found out something about mushrooms. There's a man in Liberty who um, grows mushrooms, and it heals cancer. It heals pancreatic cancer. So I'm going to go over and see him and find out how he's doing all this. Is this not amazing? And that's right here in our own backyard. And they're all over the United States. They're looking at him and coming, and I didn't even know it here. My son's principal over there, and I didn't even know it. <laughs> Somebody should have told me. Now, the spinner. Have you all ever used a spinner? Yes. You've been a, yes, yeah, good. Yeah. I feel, yeah. Uh, don't you love it, y'all? Spinner bait or? What? Come out of spinner bait fishing, or what are you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> Tony, I don't know how to fish. Don't tell me that. So, I did catch a catfish once with um, um, a flower. Mm -hmm. And it was a huge catfish, mm -hmm. but then I didn't want to eat it. I wanted to keep it as a pet. Mm -hmm. So nobody liked that idea. So, all right, here we go. We're going to do this. Now, this family is going to get our strawberries, and would you slice our lemon? And we have um, the Pampered Chef one where it keeps the seeds on the top, okay? And that's a Pampered Chef knife, which is excellent. Okay, well, this family is going to help me with spinning this. this. Put some spinach in here, and then y'all go ahead and spin that. And then while she's doing that, I'm going to have you measuring stuff. Okay. 
Okay. Now, we do the apple cider vinegar. Uh, the recipe originally called for white vinegar. Now, let me tell you about white vinegar. Um, a lot of Southerners use white vinegar. White vinegar is not healthy for the body, but it is great for cleaning. So apple cider vinegar, if you eat this organic Bragg's that's been around for a long, long time, you will not have any indigestion. And if you do have indigestion, instead of popping a Rolaid or a Tum or something, all you do is take a teaspoon of this and about a fourth of a cup of water, drink it down, and in about five to ten minutes, you're just fine, okay? So this is very healthy, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. Always remember to shake it up, okay? Now, for the vinegar, we're going to do two tablespoons. Do you want to do that? Okay. Okay. This and then one here. Vinegar. Yes, that's the vinegar, yes. <laughs> let's do, let's do the nuts. Can you put some of these nuts in there too? Mm -hmm. First put the spinach in, so they can put the, all this on top of the spinach. Hey, while, while we're doing this, can I yes, sir? put in a quick plug and... I would and, love you and, to and, about and Ralph Hayes. And ask a question. Yes, ask um, a question. On the uh, chicken, is there a way to use the strawberries and and make some kind of glaze or something and that be good on the Springer Farm Mountain chicken? Probably would be. You want me to figure out something? I to would. Try? I'd like to know Let that. Know and bring you all a taste over at Ralph I Hayes. I would. I'd like to know that answer. Okay. And then on the Ralph Hayes part, uh, only thing I would like to say is, you know, uh, you said over there a while ago that, that widows and elderly folks could come get us cars from us, but, you know, we do sell cars to young people too. Yes, if they you have do. granddaughters, yeah. kids, fix and start school, whatever, That's and right. need a good vehicle, come see us. We're a family owned and operated business. Uh, the oldest dealership in South Carolina, as a matter of fact, really? Toyota dealership. Wow. And, uh, and, you know, very family oriented. So we would love to have their business and give us a shot to put them in a good car. That would be wonderful. Actually, um, I've been really impressed with all of y'all. And um, these two guys have really helped me a lot. I really appreciate it. Thanks for being such good wives. So you have such happy husbands that want to work with me. So I appreciate that a whole lot. Um, I know it probably gets kind of hard for sometimes. Come on the show. Oh, yes. I'm so glad. I had to They've meet you. They've so much nice to say about you too. Oh, <laughs> you impress you. them. <laughs> um, here we're going to do. I leave out the poppy seeds because if you're getting drug tested for a job, poppy seeds. You can't have poppy seeds because it will show up as like you have a drug. So I don't ever recommend that. If you're going to do poppy seeds, make sure it's two weeks out before you have to get a drug test for a job, okay? okay. At least two. I don't know how long it stays in your system. Y'all have heard that too, <laughs> yes. haven't you? Yes. yes. Okay. Um, with the white vinegar, I mean, not the white vinegar, but our vinegar, and you've done our oil, so let's do our sugar. We're going to have to do that third yep, of a cup. I got it in there. Yes, you've got that in there already mm -hmm, here. Got it in there. Here we go. So all we need is the lemon. Right here. There it is. Thank I'm you sorry. so much. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad it wasn't a snake. It would have been me. <laughs> here we go. Okay, that's wonderful. Now. You said organic lemon, right? Yes, and I, I do that. That is something that probably comes out of, uh, but it's supposed to be Florida. I try to get Florida, but lemon sometimes you have to watch and see. So I make sure I get the organic. Why don't we pour a little bit over that? And ladies, um, let's get, let's go ahead and pour a little bit over that. And let's get a spoon to, um, let me see. Look in that drawer and see if we have a spoon is our that we can. Ready there. And that's, that's probably all you need there. And our chicken, I think it is. So we're going to get that, too. We're going to, y'all want to stir this up, ladies? And I'm going <laughs> to send <laughs> here. There we go. <laughs> there we go, y'all. That's wonderful. Look how Looks pretty wonderful. that is, isn't it, y'all? Yeah. And it's so I easy and it's so healthy. And strawberries are very healthy, too. And walnuts um, are very healthy. And I use the ones at Ingalls that have no chemicals on them. Make sure you don't have any where it says the chemical that they put on it, don't do those. Okay. They don't have to do that, and you don't want that for your family. Um, now, we're going to cut to a break because we have to get our chicken out of the oven. So thanks so much, y'all. Let's go get you. that chicken, okay? Oh, it's a new day for you and me. Choice to truly live. Welcome back. We're just getting ready to pray. The meal is out here, and since we're kind of small here, 
these two couples are going to share a plate. Is that all right with y'all? Yes. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, good. Oh, good. Okay, let's go ahead and you're going to pray for sure. us? Sure. Thank you. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for uh, Mary Beth. Thank you for this uh, opportunity uh, to share some meal today and to uh, for the blessing that uh, she provides for us and that, uh, for the many blessings that you provide. In Jesus Christ's name we pray, amen. 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 Now let's try y'all's chicken. Y'all want to finish plating it up here? Let's get another. That's wonderful. Let me have that fork there so it goes on this one. <laughs> let's put, thank you so much there. And the salad there. And you can put any kind of food in there. You could do grapes in it, green or red, and here. Okay, have y'all got a knife there? Okay. Go ahead and try it and tell me what you think. Oh, I didn't give you back your fork. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's I'm so right. sorry. I'm sorry. Good. Wow. Yeah. Is it really good? good? Can you taste it? Moist. Yogurt? Do you think the mayonnaise, uh -huh. taking the mayonnaise out is good? Oh, good. Oh, good. That's excellent. Mm. Guys, is it good? Mm. Good Parmesan really good. Can you taste the Parmesan? You can taste it. It's mm -hmm. yeah. good. I love Parmesan. Very good. Now, how do you like your salad? <laughs> uh, salad is great. Yeah, do that one. Tender chicken. Now, when you have my cookbook, which I'm going to give you all one, mm -hmm. everything in the pantry, if you just do the pantry and it's not that much, then you can make any recipes that I've done in the past and the recipes I'm doing now. Okay. So, um, Tell and me again what's in that dressing because that's really good. It's got sugar in it, right? It's got, <laughs> yes, it's sugar. Mm -hmm. And it's uh, lemon, fresh lemon. And then it is um, the apple cider vinegar and then the olive oil. Now, my, my yeah, mom's side of the family came from Austria and Germany, so I grew up on olive oil when all my friends were growing up on Crisco. And, um, but, so when I started doing this with my daughter, I changed everything. I did my mother-in-law's recipes, and she was from outside Sumter, and the better cook than even Paula Dean. She was excellent. So I learned how to cook like that because my mom was, you know, not a southern cook and so um, I learned that but I changed it to all the European stuff that makes you healthier not right. knowing that they were going to do that here now mm -hmm. I, I had done it years ago so that's what I do in my cookbook with that mm -hmm. and the olive oil if you go darker it is healthier but southerners don't like the taste usually of the darker one so this is just as healthy probably um, and it's better than anything else better than uh, canola oil don't do canola oil. That's not good for you. Mm -hmm. um, even though they say it is, it's not. It actually comes from a poisonous plant. Oh, wow. okay. Yes. So you want to be careful about that. You know, you don't know who's going to react to that. Well, with olive oil, you're fine with everybody. Listen, I really appreciate y'all coming on. Y'all are just precious. Thank and you. and I thank you for your husbands because um, I prayed and it was the most amazing thing. These guys know it. And God just sent me down looking for a Toyota place and I didn't even know where it was. And so, um, thank you. Just thank you. God handpicked y'all, and I really appreciate that. So, thank you, thank you. And bless you on your marriages. Thank you. Really. Thank you. <laughs> thanks, and thanks for fighting for us. Thank you so much. We will see you another Saturday. Thank you. Bye-bye. Every day.